Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody. It's Friday, Friday says. I'm super happy to be here. Got some things to share with you. And uh, so we'll just chat. Friday sews is a little bit of sewing, sews, and a little bit of life mixed in together. So grab your cup of coffee, cup of tea, and uh, let's chat, shall we? I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I'm Stephanie, welcome to my sewing room. And yes, I've got the fan going. Okay, I have a fan story before I get to the sewing. Last week on Friday Sews, I just had a disaster of a filming. It was just, oh, this little fan was sitting on the table, and when it's sitting in the right spot, it makes this huge hum. And I filmed the whole video with this fan on, and I thought, oh my gosh, that won't do. So, some of you are so smart. You're so smart, you caught this. You didn't know you caught it, but you caught it. And that is, I turned off the fan, and I filmed the video again, the whole thing. And I was like really happy with myself. Guess what? My battery ran out right at the end. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not doing this again, third time, just not. So I took the ending of the fan video and spliced it onto the end of the non-fan video. I thought that was clever, but you caught it. You're like, wow, suddenly I heard the fan and I didn't hear it the whole time. That's why, now you know. Okay, it's hot, I'm turning it off. Talk. Okay. Okay. So clever you, clever you, and and as clever as you are, all of you, I learned so much from you guys. I have a question for you, but I'm going to hold that for just a moment and talk about my swimsuits. I went on a swimsuit frenzy. I had this fabric from last year. I I, I don't know when I bought it. I bought this. I bought this. I bought this, and I made them all. So this one I had talked about making for my daughter's swimming pool party. I never even wore it. But, and I love it. I love this fabric so much. But you know what I was thinking whenever I put it on stickers? Stickers are everywhere. My dog has stickers all the time. Um, it's just pulling, like pulling right here. And I thought, you know what? This swimsuit just doesn't really fit me. I have made this a couple of other times and same thing. So I feel like my space right here needed to be elongated. And, um... I thought about just altering the pattern. I kind of played with that. And then I thought, why don't I just go up a size? So I went up a size. I kind of just went up a size. I reprinted my pattern because it was a PDF. And I went up, I think I went up one or two sizes because I like it comfort. Like I went, I like comfort. So I had this swimsuit I bought at Kmart or Walmart years and years ago. And it just felt that way. It felt like it was really pulling this way. And it was very like $7, $8, it wasn't much. So I went back, back and bought the largest size they had, which was like two, three sizes bigger than my size. I loved that swimsuit. It was so comfortable. You know, I couldn't have done like a lot of heavy duty swimming because it might have just kind of like floated off. But I don't do that. I'm a grandma, great grandma. I don't, I'm not gonna go doing like a bunch of swimming. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> just like treading water and holding a floaty. That's basically all I'm gonna do. So I made these two. And I made them a little bigger. Now this pattern is an indie pattern. Oh my gosh. I don't really ever plan on making a different pattern. I just love this swimsuit. It is by Pirates, uh, Patterns for Pirates. And it's called the Minute May Low. I'm not sure how to say that. And um, I'm yelling. <sighs> I'm yelling. Sorry. Oh, there's not even a microphone on my camera. Does that sound different with the microphone on? I have a little microphone attachment to my camera and I had everything still kind of disjointed since the evacuation and I had not put all that gear back together the way I had it before and I looked up and I'm like, no, there's no microphone. <laughs> so, now there is. Uh, so tell me if you see a difference because I think that is a difference with the microphone. Okay, where was I? Patterns for Pirates, Minute Melo. It is such a simple swimsuit. I do almost always watch the video. I just fast forward. She has it in, like they did it over a week, so she has it in sections. And um, I hate the sound of that table wiggling. One of these days I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Um, so I just fast forward to the parts I want and I actually wrote the instructions in a notebook. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. I have several of these. And I just tab it to what it is that, that I'm writing down. And right 
here is my minute Malo swimsuit. And so just one, two, three, four, I just did the steps. And um, when I made this one, I followed the video. When I made this one, I just followed my steps because I had just done all of this um, stuff. I have all my elastic measurements here. So I really don't need, I really don't need the instructions or the video. I have it in my little notebook. And um, man, a year from now, I'll totally forget how to make this swimsuit, but right now I can make this swimsuit almost without the instructions. I was I was running a little low on the um, red, so I did an inside line. I do the little bra shelf, no padding, no nothing. So I did it out of the skin tone, and I'm fine with that. Fine with that. Now you're supposed to do the crotch like this, so you see the fabric. And There's a lot of layering when it comes to the crotch. It's like this side down, this side up, this side down. Same thing with the shoulders. And it's like, I just did it wrong. I double checked my notes. My notes were correct. I just did it wrong. Now I want to show you a trick. And this works for clothes too. For setting them out to make them look cute. Look how skinny I look in this. I want to just, I just do that. Isn't that great? No, you want to see what it really looks like? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as cute, is it? <laughs> That's how they do it in the stores. They just say, oh, isn't that a cute swimsuit? Oh, wish I could do that like to my real waist. Oh, let's just push it in a little. No, it's cute. So these are keepers for sure. Keepers for sure. I have a jacuzzi hot tub here at, at the house and hubby and I like to go out like late at night and stargaze and just kind of talk about our day and so we we do that a lot all oh, not as much in the summer you guys it's just it's just not as refreshing in the summer it's not too hot but um now that my daughter has a pool I want to have some extras to just kind of keep in the car and so I might even make another one although this one's not bad and since it's kind of smaller it does suck me in a little which I don't know if you know me, but I hate being sucked in at all, at all. But if I ever want to be sucked in, this is a good one. And this fabric that I got is, I think I got all of this on Etsy, is very, very substantial. And um, I might try this swimsuit with something that's a little bit less, with a little more give, and we'll just see what happens. So, enough about the swimsuits. Um, haven't braved myself enough to try it on for you. Still thinking about it. Might do a review video. I just don't know how I feel about that. Don't know. Okay, so I have some other plans and I wanted to revisit. Hold on. I wanted to revisit this. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't know for sure. One of you said so and so's channel, she's going to make this. So I went and watched that video. And when she started describing how many pattern pieces there were, I'm like, uh-oh, I only like easy. This had 11 pattern pieces. So I'm holding my judgment until she makes hers. We'll see about that. I'd rather think I'd rather have a faux wrap dress. This really not wrapped at all because that's where all those pieces were. I'm pretty sure they were all separate pieces like top, bottom, all that stuff. I don't need that kind of complication in my life. I am wearing a dress from Ready Wear from a store. I've had this for years. It was so inexpensive. Just a little dress that I love. Let's see if I can show you. It's just a little dress. Nothing much to it. Why I love it. The color. Love this pink. Super bright. I even had to go find some pink lipstick. And um, I'm going to wear lipstick for these videos. <laughs> I used to wear it all the time, but especially in the heat, no. Um, so I think I should like hang this in my sewing room because it has some inspirations that I would like to try, like treatment around the neck. And this is added on after. I can see it right here. It's just added on after. And then I love this sleeve. It's kind of a cold shoulder, but it's not, it's not open right here. I actually did something like this, um, to a dress that I just didn't like the sleeve. It was something about it I didn't like. I think I'll put a link to that video. But it's not my, I did not make this. Okay, more sewing. I have, here's my question. So you guys have shown me and taught me so much. I am going to ask you this, and this might open a can of worms. If it does, it needs to be opened. 
um, thread, thread. So I had some thread breakage problems when I was working on these swimsuits and it could have been the fabric that was causing it. It could have been, I don't know. All I know is it kind of led me to believe that there's got to be differences in threads and I want to know what they are. And I want to know, I just like, I don't want to study it. I don't want to try to figure it out. I just want to know which one's the best for garment making. And oh my gosh, do you need different ones for different kinds of things? I don't want that. I want something super easy. Like this is the thread to buy and just have it in every color. <sighs> I buy my thread at Joann's. Is there a best at Joann's? as opposed to others, or um, Joanne's no-no. I don't know. So I am really looking forward to the comments on this one and see if you guys have any thread suggestions for garment making. Um, that's it, that's my question. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Um, on the personal front, today is fair day, and I don't love going to the fair, I've already said that, but I will go because it's my friend's get together and I want to be with them. You know, I want to hang out with my friends. And so I might just do like a one day where I, where I actually have one day at the fair and see everybody. So I'll go to my friends, which is a lunchtime deal, hang out with them. Then hubby will go look at the exhibits and see if he won any ribbons and his photography. And then um, my son and his boyfriend will meet up with us and walk around the, the midway. And then I will be done with all my fair duties. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. And I do not like walking around in the heat. It's going to be a ponytail day for sure. Um, I just had my hair done yesterday. And I should have filmed this yesterday because my hair looked really good. When she fixes it, it's really good. But I was just so hot and tired that I didn't. So here is day two. She does this nice little curling. So she has a system to keep it from getting too blonde. My hair is medium brown and a lot of gray now. Um, which makes the brown look darker and colorless. It's not brown, it's not brown anymore. It's kind of this weird, I don't know. So, do you want to know this? <laughs> Are you interested? She does it brown, like my actual kind of, it's a little prettier than my brown, but it's like brown and then blonde, like weaved in. And so in order to keep it from getting too blonde, she only does the blonde part every other. So this was just the brown part. So now it looks like I have brown roots, which honestly it's kind of nice because people will think, wow, she doesn't have gray hair. Um, I do. You go back, watch last week's video and you'll see it because it's there. Uh, okay. Personal. Fair and hair. <laughs> Fair and hair. I'm getting a lot of food out of my garden. Um, I've been sharing it with my daughter and um, it's just, it's just so cool. It's quite a miracle. I'm really, really enjoying it. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to sweat. I want this fan so bad. Okay, will that bother you? Wait, is there a higher setting? No, this is it, one setting. I need like Arctic blast right now. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, I'm going to cut this video short because I want to leave you with something totally cool and fun and awesome. The other day, um, we ended up with a free day where hubby wasn't booked and I was free. Obviously, I'm pretty much free all the time. And um, he said, let's drive up country. Now, what that means is we, we live in a mountainy area, but there's higher mountains than where I'm at. And so... Uh, driving up there is very cool. It's very cool. And so I said, yeah, let's do it. So we drove up there, had lunch at one of our, a lodge on the lake. It's really a cool place. And um, we took a lot of wildfire, flower, wildfire, wildflower pictures. And we took our little waterfall hike. And the thing about the waterfall hike is we thought it burned up last year's fire because it's really very close to all those places that we like to go and um, I, we didn't go as far as we could have gone and so we don't know for sure but from what we could see the fire did not reach our beautiful waterfall hike so I am going to splice on the end of this some wildflowers in the mountains and our waterfall hike and 
just to let you know that in the higher elevation, spring comes later and July is the best time for wildflowers in the mountains. Whereas the flowers are all done here. Like, you know, we still have the few that we've planted, but wildflowers here are done, have been for a while. And up in the upcountry, it's the peak right now. It's the best time to go. And it's like you want to go every day. It's so pretty. But the time we get up there camping, the wildflowers will be pretty much gone. I mean, we could probably find some, but enjoy this walk with me. If you don't mind, I'd like to share and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and leave a comment and answer my question. And I hope you enjoy this little walk in the mountains with the wildflowers. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I so appreciate it. I look forward to visiting with you in the comments and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye now. Oh, I need this fan right now. Oh gosh. <sighs>